Hey, I'm Chloe Thompson from Been There, Dug That, and welcome to my garden. When we moved in here six years ago, there wasn't a single plant in the garden. But wait till you see what we've created now. Come on, let's have a look. Over here, we've got a beautiful, lush bamboo garden. It's quite shady over here, so we can grow bamboo, hydrangeas, and other shade-loving plants as well. But up this flight of stairs is a completely different story. So up here is a gorgeous northwest facing succulent garden. So it gets really hot afternoon sun. We've had to use succulents so that they'll survive in this harsh environment. But we can create beautiful contrasting colours and textures up here and I love it. I absolutely love this blue cotyledon, it's one of my favourites. And having this gravel mulch here really helps the succulents pop as well. But wait, there's more! And this is our most recent creation. Welcome to our very backyard. When we first moved in here, this was just a barren slope. Again, not a single plant back here, apart from some big, beautiful gum trees. So let me show you what we created. So one of the first things I had to do when we first moved in was install some veggie boxes. So we've got some over here and some over here because I love growing lots of edible things. Tomatoes, beans, carrots, the works. But this slope down the middle here just remained completely barren and bare because we kind of couldn't work out what to do with it. We ummed and ahed about a few different options. We looked at things like H beams with the traditional red gum sleepers in between. But can you imagine how much concrete I would have had to haul up all of those steps and then how many holes we'd have to dig for those H beam sleepers. So it wasn't until we discovered this straight curve rusted steel edging that we had an aha moment. So as you can see, this steel edging is amazing. It curves beautifully. It actually comes completely straight and then you just curve it to match the space or the slope of the land or the block or the garden bed that you're trying to create. And here we've created steps or terraces with it. And right up the very top, there's even a gorgeous little lawn oasis. Welcome to my lawn oasis. Yes, it's only a 10 square metre lawn, which I know by Aussie standards is pretty tiny, but I could not be without this space. It's a beautiful spot to sit on a warm summer's night, get the dappled sun coming through the gum trees, and it's just magic. So this whole lawn space up the top here, we actually created using the 400 high straight curve edging. And as you can see, come and have a look, it's actually quite high. And this stuff is actually held in place using a bracing system, which means it's anchored down into the bedrock, so it ain't going anywhere. But the 150 high stairs are actually held in place with these really big nails that you hammer into place. I've got one, come and have a look. So this is them. As you can see, they're rather big. So you just hammer those into the ground using a sledgehammer. And again, that holds it really nicely. All the uh, soil or the lack of soil on this bed has actually meant that it's been really easy to um, secure this straight curve in place because it's pure rock and pure clay. So it's been awesome. These things are not going anywhere. <laughs> One of the things I love most about this rusted steel edging is how beautifully it combines with timber and stone. Just look at these gorgeous recycled red gum sleepers that we've used, and then of course the beautiful gabion wall. I think it just looks incredible. So let me lead you down the garden path so you can have a sticky beak. Don't mind the winter weeds, just ignore them. I know I am. This area's got a pretty specky view if you spin around and have a look back the other way. It's actually really nice to sit down here and have a relax. Come and have a look. So thanks for coming on a tour of my backyard. We're certainly going to be using some more straight curve in other areas of our garden to handle those tricky spots. So make sure you're following me on Been There, Dug That. I'll see you there.